Hello, and welcome back to another video. <laughs> that was so weird. Uh, but look, what's going on, guys, man? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing lighting, music video lighting setups. But this is going to be like a vlog style video. So if you don't want to see the vlog prior to this video, go up to this timestamp and skip ahead because you don't have to watch everything. And there are going to be timestamps within the description little chapters and everything. So if you don't want to watch everything, that's cool. You don't have to watch everything, especially the beginning part. I didn't want to be vlogging, going through some pre-production stuff. So skip ahead to the time stamp right here. All right, guys, so for the ones who are sticking around for this vlogging process of, or vlogging portion of the video, I appreciate you. If you skipped ahead, you're not watching it, so it doesn't matter for you. We got some stuff to do today for this video. Pre-production, going out, collecting some props and gear for this video. So I've been doing like daily tasking in my notebook for the past like month and a half, two months. And it's very, very useful. I gotta go to Hobby Lobby at nine o'clock, open at nine o'clock. I think it's almost nine now. So Hobby Lobby at nine o'clock to get some fabric for one of the setups, like a shiny, gold fabric and then either walmart family dollar or dollar tree to get like some black cardboard that i want to use for a backdrop i could use like a sheet but the way i want to utilize the cardboard i can't do with the sheet so gotta go get that and then either lowe's or home depot to pick up some pvc pipe like an eight foot pvc pipe i'm expecting to have everything under 20 bucks so with that being said, let's go ahead and take care of Hyper Lobby, get this black cardboard, and Lowe's or Home Depot for that PVC pipe. I'm gonna give y'all a quick look. Damn. I'm gonna give y'all a quick little breakdown of what I just got. Starting with this. This is a eight foot PVC pipe from Home Depot. It was 10 foot originally, but I got it cut to eight feet so it can fit across my backdrop area that I'm gonna put this black cardboard on that I picked up from Walmart. And then from Hobby Lobby, I picked up these two gels. It's not super expensive, it's like $3 per gel. Um, and since it's cheaper, I don't recommend putting it close to how to light because I'm pretty sure it would melt because it's not super thick, it's pretty thin, but it's gonna get the job done to give me color within these setups. And then last but not least, I got this cool looking fabric. And you can see it's already giving off like a shiny effect and that's what I wanted to do. When we get into it, it's just gonna weigh back behind the artist or behind the subject in this case. And there is gonna be more stuff within these setups, but the cardboard, this fabric, and PVC pipe are things that I did not already have. So $35 for this stuff is really cheap if you think about it. So um, I'm about to get on my computer, iMac, and hop on uh, Milanote so I can show y'all how I wanna organize and keep myself focused during this shoot. So let's get into it. Yo, what's going on guys, man? Welcome back. As you can see, I'm in different clothes. Last night, I ended up going out with some friends to celebrate some important milestones for them and I wanted to be there to show my support and love. So let's get right into this Milanote program to show y'all how I do my shot listing. All right guys, so here we are within Milanote. This is what I use for my shot listing, mood boards, pre-production planning, everything for like production, shot listing, all that kind of stuff. So this is what I use instead of using Evernote. So I got my gear list, my props, and my shot list. So I'm going to be using the Canon 80D for this video. Instead of using the Canon EOS R, which is my own personal camera, um, just to show y'all that you can create a lot of cool stuff with non super expensive cameras. Like the EOS R is way more expensive, I think, than the 80D. It might be a little cheaper now, but when this camera came out, it was over $2,000. So 
that's what we're going to be shooting the Canon 80D. Now it is an APS-C sensor, so that's like a 1.6 times crop on the sensor. So um, I probably am going to use my 16-35 f2.8 lens instead of the 10-18, mainly because that one is not a constant f-stop throughout the lens, and it's that's super wide, even with the crop sensor i think that's too wide so probably going to use my lens instead of the 10 to 18. And we've got the aperture mc the 120 the light dome mini 2 the regular light dome 2 a fresnel attachment small hd focus got the quasar 4 4 rgb tube black pro mist which is placed on my lens right now that stays on my lens at all times eight foot pvc pipe that i picked up yesterday then we got haze in the can i don't have an actual fog machine so i picked up some haze in the can it was going to get here faster it got here faster than the actual fog machine would and the fog machine cost more so i want my haze in the can everything's going to be linked down in the description as well if you guys want to check out anything of any of this stuff that we're going to be talking about color gels from hobby lobby tripod csim and along with the uh extension arms to boom things up light wise and so gaff tape and then my handheld rig for our props i got a stool gold shiny fabric black cardboard black sheet white backdrop shades for the subject or whoever's going to be within the shots to get like the quasar beam within their glasses and then prop money from prop movie money if you guys want to get 15 percent off your next purchase at propmoviemoney.com link's going to be down in the description make sure you use promo code visway 15 for 15 percent off your next purchase gear list props visway 15 for the propmoviewinning.com. And then we got a shot list. So this is going to be my four different setups for this tutorial that I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, how I break myself down, got my shots, this, uh, like a quick description, like a quick summary of how everything is supposed to turn out and then lighting and background. So you guys can see I got references, not a lot. It's a few, one or two. Sometimes I do more than that. It just depends. But for this particular shoot, it's very simple. So I don't need to get a lot of references. It's not a whole lot going on within these setups. So yeah, man, that's pretty much it. I got my references, one or two pictures to go through and see how I want these shots to look visually. Um, and then I got my shots required. The shots I want to get through for those particular setups, quick description, and then I got my lighting and background. So you can do a lot more things within here, but for this shoot, this tutorial, it's not a whole lot going on. So all I need is my gear list, props, and then my shot list. One thing to note, the Canon 80D does not have log within it. I'm gonna be shooting neutral within that camera. So keep that in mind as you're looking at these different setups. If you're wondering why, maybe the color might, I don't know. I think it'll be fine. I'm not tripping about it, it's cool. We're gonna be shooting with the neutral profile because there is no log. But yeah, man, let's get right into these setups. Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the studio, man. About to get these lighting setups good to go. We got this cool ass shiny backdrop that I'm gonna have like somebody moving around to get some cool creative artistic effect in the background. This is just sitting on a PVC pipe that I picked up from Lowe's. Costs like three bucks. It's an eight foot PVC pipe, super cheap. I got it on these Bobby Tech cheap ass stands, man. Then at the top, I got some J hooks and a super clamp. That's probably the most expensive thing in the setup for the backdrop. But if you want to budget, what you can do is get rid of all of this right here. And then you can just have two people hold the sides and shake it. That's pretty much everything for this stuff. And then on the back side, y'all can see, got these hooks to hold everything together. So it makes it a little easier. I've got three hooks, super duty or heavy duty clamps to hold these. I got this off of B&H. Everything is going to be linked down in the description if you guys want to check anything out. And then for the light for this setup, uh, let's talk about this fucking rolling stand. This is probably like the best thing that I ever purchased this year. This thing rolls, man. And there's a heavy light on here. It can easily be moved around. I can lock it down if I wanted to so it doesn't move around. These right here. The light we're using is a Quasar Science 2 4 foot RGB. So I got it set to a 6,000 Kelvin on here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's all good. 6,000 Kelvin on the light. And then these pieces of tape, this gaffer tape. I said this before in a previous video, when you make tape, make sure you like put little folds on the end because it makes it a lot easier to pull it down. It's not super stuck to it. The camera that we're using for this setup is gonna be the Canon 80D. So I'm using my lens, the 16-35 f2.8 lens, just because the lens that we have was a 10 to 18, which is what's using to record this behind the scenes, it's too wide. So I wanted to be able to zoom in and out 
a little bit closer. Then I got my tripod, Manfrotto fluid head, and this is like a three pod tripod. This is like a makeshift tripod, yo. Don't be like me, just get the regular uh, Manfrotto tripod and then you should be good. So this next setup, man, it's an easy, simple two light setup. Y'all see I got the Aperture MC light. Um, I got it boomed up on this little small 20 inch or like 15 inch uh, extension arm, real simple. And then we got the uh, Quasar Science 2 wrapped in a green gel. I picked this up up from uh, Hybrid Lobby, real simple, cheap stuff to pick up. So I got that wrapped around here and then I got it boomed up on the rolling stand or the C stand, not rolling stand, on the C stand, boom up high to hit the background. And it's set to 6,500 or 6,000 Kelvin on the light to get that green tint. And this is set to a 350 degrees tint. Red hue, yeah, <laughs> red hue. <laughs> And then, yeah, it's pretty simple, man. Simple light setup. And then, of course, ADD still, and that's pretty much it. So let's get to it. guys this third setup as y'all can see got this cool ass backdrop right here all this is is some cardboard with some holes cut into it attached to the pvc pipe again and i got the hooks on here to hold it up and then behind here we got the uh aperture 120d with this fresnel attachment if i take this off it gets super bright so i got that on here to kind of shape the light to help it a little better and yeah i'm gonna have somebody behind here trolling this around to get some cool like stuff within the shot. So <laughs> that's what we got for that one. Real easy. And that's pretty much it for that part. And then um, the key light for this set, for this setup, is gonna be the Quasar Science Tube set to 6,000 Kelvin for the temperature. And then, yeah, make sure when you do this, it's not rotated too far to the background because if you're in a small spot like I am, it'll spill to the background. So make sure you kind of angle it a little bit so it doesn't spill to the back backdrop. Man, of course, ADD seal, and that's pretty much it, guys. So let's get into this third setup. Okay.
here we are with the last setup. It's real simple. Two light setup with a black backdrop. This is a bed sheet, old bed sheet that I got. Um, with the uh, super clamps, not super clamps, what are these? Heavy duty clamps, yeah, to hold everything up. On the PVC pop again, and the super clamps on the sides, ends, and that's our backdrop. We got this Aperture MC light, it's magnetic. So I just put it to my C-stand, and it, it's gonna act as our kicker light to put like an orangish tint on his, the right side of his face, left side of his face. And then over on this side, uh, it's 120B with the Light Dome Mini 2 with the green and uh, blue gel to give it like a tilt look. So that's set up, that's lights, backdrop. And I forgot to mention, these are like um, blackout curtains. So that's how I'll be able to get everything controlled with the lighting and everything in here. So that's pretty much it. Rolling stand, C stand with the light, Aperture MC, Aperture 120D, and of course, the famous ADD. <laughs> All right, man, let's get into setup number four, man, gang. talk about real quick before I close this on this sticky note so let's get into it first thing first man uh the ADD this camera looks nice and I hope this video shows y'all that you don't need the most expensive respect out camera to produce great quality it was a lot of things that was added into these scenes like lighting different props and different things like that to enhance the final product or the final image so the camera Really, it's like the last thing you want to worry about. As long as it can shoot 1080p, 24 frames per second, um, having a log profile does help as far as color grading things, but this does not have a log profile as you saw within the video. I just shot in the neutral profile and I think everything still looks fine. So this video looks good. If you notice the image look really soft, it's because I was shooting in manual focus. And some of the shots weren't tack sharp on the focus because that was on me. But I think it still looked good. I actually prefer that soft look anyway. So um, the softness of the image because of my lack of tech sharpness on the manual focus, I think it worked out pretty good. Understand and know your camera's native eyes. So especially if you're shooting in a log profile, the ADD doesn't have a log profile, which is fine. But I did look up to see what the native ISO was and it's around like 100 to 250-ish. So I shot most of these shots at 125 for the ISO. This is just something to keep into consideration when it comes to shooting in a log profile or just helping your image look the best when it comes to your color grade because this will help reduce and eliminate the unwanted noise in your shadows and your blacks. The native ISO on my camera I know is 400 and it's getting bright in here. It's fine. The data of ISO on my camera is 400. It's like right now, I'm shooting at 640. I don't go below 400 because I know below that it's going to add unnecessary noise in my shadows and my black. So I range between 400 to 800 when it comes to shooting and C log on the Canon EOS R. The lav mic that I use, man, it was a Rode lav mic. The link's going to be down in the description if you want to check it out. Plugged it into my phone. That's what I use for the behind the scenes audio and it sounded really good. I was like super surprised on how good it sounded. Honestly, I didn't think it was going to sound so good. At least it did to me. Maybe it sounded shitty to y'all. If it sounded trash, please let me know, but I think it sounded good to me. That's just something that really helped 
with the behind the scenes because I was able to move around and talk and you were still able to hear me talk clearly while my back was turned to the camera. But yeah, man, if you're looking for something like this, link in the description. There are other options to like plug into directly into your camera or just having it plugged into your phone. There are plenty of options out there when it comes to lavalier mics. That is everything, man. Shooting creative music video lighting setups with the Canon 80D with no log profile and I still think it look good. If you made it this far within the video, man, thank you so much for staying with me this entire time. That means a lot. The engagement that you guys were showing for these videos means a lot because I put so much time and effort into it. So just for y'all to watch the entire process means a lot to me. So thank you if you're watching right now within this part of the video. Yeah, man, that's it. That's everything. A long video but very informational. If you guys enjoyed this video or found it to be informational to you, hit that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing and I am in my bag. I'm knocking out edits, man. Like this video was shot in 2021. I got so many videos on my hard drive that I need to go through edit, but I'm locked in, bro. I'm, I'm super locked in, knocking this shit out. So hopefully y'all enjoy this content as much as I enjoy creating it and putting it out for y'all. Yeah, man, that's it. I'm gonna see y'all within my next video. I'm out, guys. Peace.